Any animal lover will affirm life without a dog is a life diminished. Inmate Billy Saxon knows that isolation. About 37 years. It's a long time. A long time. Saxon had very little in the way of responsibility until an eager tail approached the prison fence. Mercedes was a rescue dog about two years ago. She used to run around the prison with a pack of dogs. Mercedes has a permanent home now, inside Dick Connor Correctional Center. And this is her lay down spot. She spends a lot of time down here. And when she's not down here on the floor and everything, she gets bored, she jumps up here with my Sally and, and lives up there in bed. But. Mercedes is one of nearly a dozen pampered prison pets. They are all part of a unique program to rescue dogs from euthanasia. It's called STAR, save, train, and rehabilitate. Her, she come in, she looked like she was almost dead. But she was, she was so skinny, you could count every bone, <clears throat> you could count every bone in her body. Yeah, she would have been lucky to make another week or two. Now she's just happy to be alive. <laughs> the prisoners, most facing lengthy sentences, give and receive companionship. And this is Buddy. Yep. Is he your buddy? Oh yeah, he's everybody buddy. He don't have a he don't have a mean bone in his body. The rescued, abandoned, and mistreated animals also benefit from a concentrated four-month training regiment designed to make them more adoptable. Yeah, have a little dance. She likes to dance around for her treat, so I let her. Or she can sit, stay, uh, shake your hand, wave hi and bye to you. And her, be her best skill is to go down to a medical and visit with the uh, terminally ill guys. They just have a very short time to live, so it, it makes them real happy to see the dog. There is a unique camaraderie in this unit. Man's best friend is a role model for second chances. And then we get to save them and give them a second chance and send them back out and hopefully get them families. These dogs don't see the inside of a prison, but the inside of a person.